Flame detected. Hmm, that's weird. Hey, it's Ken from Moonpot Creations. Today we're going to do a review on the F1 from Xtool. Now, before you click off and say, I don't need to see a review, you got to see this one. This is an amazing machine. I started doing a Kickstarter, a fundraiser to do this machine. And I got in uh, at, the, at the beginning and now I've got mine and I'm ready to show you guys what it can do and what it can't do. And I'll give you my honest opinion at the end on what I think of the machine and whether you should buy one and if it's worth the price. I'm pretty sure you don't need to see me put this thing together. Uh, I'm just going to pull it out of the box. So let me get it all set up and we'll come back and we'll start testing this sucker out. Let's talk about some of the features before we get started about this machine. So come on in, let's check it out. So first you ask, what is an F1 laser? It is a portable IR and diode laser. IR and diode laser, what does that mean? That means you get two lasers in one. Yes, it can do metal and wood. The materials this thing can engrave are staggering. This thing is fast when you're doing metal. It can do up to 4,000 millimeters a second engraving. You're wondering how thick of wood you can cut with this? About eight millimeter. You can also cut up to five millimeter acrylic. There are two easy ways to focus this machine. One is the side knob here, which you use to bring these two dots together. Or, in creative space, you can put the thickness of the material in there and it'll automatically focus. You can use this thing anywhere. I mean anywhere. It has a smoke purification system that comes along with it and that's this right here. The air purifier will start whenever the X-Tool starts and it'll stop a little bit after it stops to make sure it cleanses all the air. The air purifier is good to use in places where you need to make sure you have a little to no smoke. Once the air purifier is hooked up, all you do just close the lid and start your engrave. If you're worried about safety, this thing has an overheat protection system. That means when it gets too hot, it'll shut down. If you're worried about stray laser beams, don't worry, they got you covered. This has an installed leak-proof hood so laser beams can't escape and get in your eyes. Getting started with this machine super easy. It'll connect up to what's called Creative Space by Xtool which is a pretty cool program if you ask me, and it's super easy to use, and beginners might want to look at that. But it can also hook up the light burn, which I will not do in this video, but I think that's a pretty versatile machine that'll connect up to both. First thing we'll need to do is connect the F1 to the computer. You'll need to download Creative Space from Xtool. Pretty cool program. Then you'll need to hook up the F1 to the computer via USB cable that hooks up to the C connector right here on the side of the machine. Once you get it all connected up, you turn it on, you should be able to read it through the creative space, and boom, you're connected. This is the back of the X-Tool F1. You have the on off, you have the power cable hookup. This hooks up to the smoke filter. Then you have another USB-C, and then right here is the Wi-Fi. This machine can be hooked up by Wi-Fi. All you do is you go to settings in creative space, on the machine and just say hook up to Wi-Fi. Super easy. Now that we're all set up and ready to go and connected to Wi-Fi, man, I love that. That means I can bring this thing anywhere in the shop as long as I've got my power cable hooked up and I can, I can mark stuff. Do I need to? Probably not, but it's great for portability. So you say you're worried about not having a computer and you're out at a craft fair and you want to do stuff for people? Well, no need to worry. Xtools has you covered. Creative Space comes as an app also and it will connect directly to your device via Wi-Fi. Boom, you're connected to it, it's that easy. But before we get started in engraving stuff, I wanna let you know, if you go to xtool.com, they have great resources. On every one of their lasers, they have a material settings that'll tell you what you need to do. But in Creative Space, it automatically sets it to what you need for that material. I think that's kind of cool. Whenever I'm testing out a laser, I like to do an engraved test. This will tell me what engraving speeds and powers do what kind of marking on the object. There's a few ways you can get one of those, and that is to make one in Lightburn, you can make one in Creative Space, or you can purchase one. I purchased mine from Sam Craft. I'll put a link down below so you can go over there and get it there. 
But what I want to do is start doing the engrave test on the slate. Got some really good golds in there. We're going to do another engraving test. And here's the next one. Now that we've got the engraved test done and I figured out what speeds and powers I need, I'm going to go ahead and do a few of the coasters that I've been wanting to do and then we'll go ahead and check out that, that slide extension. Now the next thing I want to do is going to be a wild concept that most of you are like, what? But I want to laser in color on a slate coaster. Yeah, I know it sounds like a wild concept, but you can do it. The guy named Sam Craft, I'll put his link right over here and link down there. I downloaded a design for a coaster from him that's in color. And he also has a couple of videos which show that you can do it in color. So without further ado, I'm going to take this design I got from him. Let's go ahead and see if it works, if we get color on a coaster. came out pretty good look at the color on there uh, if you want this i'll give you the link to go to his etsy page and you can find it there and he'll let you download it free so they also sent a slide extension for the x tool and we're going to give that a try and what that does is allow you to batch out more stuff at one time this is the slide extension from x tool this goes on to the base there and all you do is line it up to the second line on the plate on the bottom and then there's two tick marks that you line up and you're good to go what this does is allows you to batch out laser product i got this template right here from samcraft you can go to his web page and purchase it it's very cheap it's like four or five bucks and you can always place your coasters exactly where they're needed. So all you're gonna do is take your coasters and put them on here. Oh yeah, they came out very nice. This is an easy way to batch out coasters. Now I can put three more up there. I couldn't be happier how that slide did. I did one of them in IR, and that's this one right here, and this one in diode, blue diode, and they both came out pretty good. I like how dark this one is though, so I'll probably end up going with diode, and it took probably four minutes each, so that's pretty darn good. You can pump these out three at a time. So you can do a set of six, sell them for 30 bucks or so, plus shipping, and you're good to go. So engraving on slate is fine. What I want to do is use some of the preset settings in the creative space to engrave on wood and a few other things. The first thing we're going to start off with is this little wood cookie right here and see how it looks when we get done. you're worried about not being able to line everything they give you this little corner bracket that helps you a uh, little L bracket that helps you line everything up I'm going to use the presettings to cut out some acrylic. I'm going to do a little small keychain emblem for my keychain, 
and we'll see how well it does. Something that X-Tool sells are these little silverback patches right here. Um, it has a setting for it in the creative space. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna use one of their logos that I got off of their website to see how it looks on one of these little patches. Something that sells pretty well at craft fairs or are great presents to give people are these little anodized keychain bottle openers. They engrave really well on most lasers and they cost about 20 cents. If you use a template, you could probably batch out 10 or 15 of these at a time. There we are. This one is the diode laser and that one's the IR laser. Both tests. The IR looks really good. The diode, not so much. And here's the final product. This is convex, so I need to work on my settings. I should have done the focus about midway between that point and that point. So I decided that I wanted to try something. And I know it sounds crazy, but what I want to try is I want to try to remove the rust on these pliers with the laser. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that done. Look at that. It removed all the rust. That's amazing. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I've been working on this for quite a while now, and I have tested a lot of material. So it's time for me to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly of what I think about the X-Tool F1. Before we go on, I want to let you know that X-Tool did send me this to review for you, but as always, I told them that I wouldn't do it unless I was able to give my honest opinion, and they absolutely agreed they are that confident in this machine. As always, I'm going to start off with the bad and the ugly. I'm going to save the good for last because I always like to end on a good note. Now, let's get started with the five things I don't like about this. Number one, the price. Although the F1 starts at $17.99, this complete set runs about $24.99, which is pretty steep. But it does include the air purifier, the RA2, and the table extension. This machine is not for the hobbyist. This is for somebody who's serious about it and getting ready to start a business. Number two, the engraving area is extremely small at 115 millimeters by 115 millimeters. That's just four and a half inches. I really wish X-Tool would have been able to make this engraving area a little bit bigger, at least six by six. Number three, they changed the cable for the RA2. I'm not sure I'm too happy with that. They did make it into this USB right here but that is not a C cable I wish it was a C cable and that could have been a C cable also because these are known to be very flimsy right here uh, if it had two C cables that went into the side of the machine that would have been fantastic this is reminiscent of when iPhone changed their cable to be proprietary to the lightning cable really pissed everybody off Number four can just me being nitpicky, but there's no case for this. It's touted as very portable, and I really wish that they would have had a case come out with this that fit everything. In all fairness, they are working on it. On their Facebook page, they've asked everybody how they would like to see it configured. And number five, the material settings. You're having to go through and redo all your material settings because it's a new laser. I know, I know. That's just the way it goes. And they do have some of the settings on their X-Tool webpage, but I've been going through their Facebook page trying to get all the settings people are using so I can test it out. Yes, I know you can do a test pattern, but that's not always the best way to do it. Now it's time to discuss five things that I did like about this machine. Number one, this thing is smoking fast. At 4,000 millimeters a second, you can get stuff done in a matter of seconds. Number two, portability. This thing can be brought anywhere. 
And that is a super plus. Number three, the materials this thing can cut are unbelievable. It can do everything. The biggest thing I think is it can do small jewelry of all metals. A very big plus is the number four, and that's the slide extension. The accessories this thing can hook up to is, are great, and they're growing every day, but that slide extension expands your work area and kind of negates one of my cons. Last but not least, number five. This is a dual laser. It has IR and diode laser. I talked about the price, but I'm gonna have to tell you, it's well worth the money you're spending on this because you're getting those two lasers and this thing is portable and you can bring it anywhere and you can start a business with this. So there you have it. This machine performed amazingly. You saw everything I did. I mean, come on. It took the rust off of these pliers. I thought that was, that was just silly. I saw that uh, Xtool had posted a video on it so I wanted to give it a try and got the settings all done up. But uh, this thing can do a lot of stuff. I didn't show you half of what it can do. So I've given you five reasons I don't like it and then five reasons I do like it. Now I can get past every one of the reasons I don't like this machine because of what it can do. This machine is perfect for any craft business you wanna start. The portability of this machine is amazing. You can take it to craft show, flea markets, or any other place that you need to bring it. You can purchase things that you can make very quickly at a craft fair, as in the slate coasters or the little bottle openers or anything else, and you can make money on this at a craft show. I'm fairly certain on that. One of my favorite things that I engraved during this video was this necklace for my wife with my name on it and my grandchildren's name on it. These things cost $17 at Xtool's website and I could probably sell these for $40 or $50 at a craft fair. Am I telling you that as soon as you get this, you're gonna be making mass amounts of money? No way. What I'm gonna tell you is if you work with it, learn the settings, get good at it, you can hustle and make some good cash with it. Let's use these slate coasters as an example. I posted these online and I had five orders within 15 minutes. That's pretty good, selling six of them at $30 a pop. So my final thoughts on the Xtool F1, it's a great machine. At $2,500, it's well worth the money to start that business or expand your current laser business. It's very portable and you can bring it to craft shows and other places. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, head on down to the comment section, leave them there. I try to answer every single question. Also, if you're interested in checking out the F1 yourself, I've got a link down below in the description. And until next video, stay cool.